Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I am here with the usual crew. I've got Christian and Anna. What's up? <laughs> Hello. Sean said he was going to be on the show, but apparently he's sick or something like that. I don't know. She deceived us. So, yeah. Because he has... Sean's like me, where we uh, have spent a fair amount of time, you know, going around town looking for, you know, sea or Earthrise figures at uh, the local Targets. Um, so, he also got Earthrise. So... And little did we know that if we could have just waited, that we could have gotten a buy one, get one half off. Although, who yeah. knows whether or not you'll actually be yeah. able to get the figure. That's true. I I did not wait, and yet I still got buy one half off for the guy we're going to... I said we're going to interview him, actually. We're going to review tonight. Because we can interview him. He won't say anything else. Ooh. Boom. Is that one of those parasocial relationships we were talking about, though? How do you do an interview with that? I don't know. How do you interview with the vampire? Very dangerously. <laughs> Vampires are people. Toys are typically inanimate. That's what you think. Vampires are people, too? And Randall, I wasn't, I wasn't teaching. I was working with one of my students in my lab. We were working on research stuff. That sounds so mysterious and way cooler than it actually is. That did sound really cool. <clears throat> right, right, yeah. I'll, I'll be sure to explain it on, on air tonight. There you go. Hey, everyone, let's talk about research on prejudice. Hey, That's Carrie, fun. how's it going? What's up, Carrie? Congratulations on your wedding. Yeah, congrats. Oh, yeah. That's a traditional thing to say after someone gets married. Congratulations. It's true. Yeah, that was that was very exciting. I was excited to see all the uh, the the pictures and whatnot that you posted online. So everyone looked real happy. That's what mm -hmm. mattered most. Uh, so, you want to talk about this thing now? so yeah, so I guess, uh, Anna, what, what are your thoughts since you have not actually handled this figure? You know, what's really funny is literally when Christian held it up a second ago, I was like, why is Christian holding up some random Optimus toy? The figure I'm we're reviewing. I'm not surprised. It's Siege. Or it's Earthrise. My bad. See, I'm doing it too now, Lucas. Siege Rise. <laughs> Warp Cybertron. So... Look at him. He's great. Hey, Anna, you know that your video is no longer going, right? It should respawn in just a second. Okay, cool. All right. I just wanted to make sure you were aware. I was switching cameras because I have two cameras in here. Oh, look at you. This is, I mean, this is where I, I make lectures, so I have to have multiple cameras in here. Anyway, my thoughts on this figure are that in pictures, I don't like it very much, and I want you guys to convince me why it's actually good. So you said that you thought the proportions <laughs> was off. Is that what you were thrown off by? Yeah, what? it looks like he has, like, tons of legs and no upper body. I mean, um, <clears throat> that's remotely true, but it's definitely better in hand. I'm trying to think of, like, comparatively... I don't know. I guess it's hard to hard to compare between the two. I was trying to see who has a. I don't yeah, know. It the is, legs are pretty much the same. It is a minuscule difference. Like it is, yeah. it is so slight. Yeah, but it it's, just it's, seems it's so slight. big to me. Gosh, it's so funny to look at the two side by side by lap and realize that like my brain is literally processing. The one on the left that Christian's holding as looking dumb, and the one on the right is looking normal. Yeah. Well, I know, like, I, I don't know. I know you always talk about the proportions, like, uh, on Legends you know. figures, too, that, like, certain ones bug you. And, and you know what I think it is? And it's only because I've known you for so long. 
I think it is the chest on the siege and the chest on the earth rise are different. The earth rise one is very boxy and does not join up with the lower abdomen piece. Whereas yep. the siege one is much more in line that makes the, the, uh, upper body on earth rise look bigger than it really is. Cause I see it too, but only because I've known you long enough to look for it. Well, I appreciate your insight into my, um, Oh, what was the word on uh, neuroticism? There we go. Um, your insight, it's my neuroticism. And that totally explains it very well. Cause I think, yeah, it's definitely the shape of the chest on the earth rise makes me think it looks worse. See, it's funny because I, the chest or whatever, you can definitely tell that he has a much larger chest or whatnot. Um, and I almost feel like it's kind of gives him more heroic proportions. Um, yes, this one, if you kind of, you know, a stance that a, a stance legs out a little bit to me, it kind of draws away from the boxiness of the chest here. Cause you got the knees that are also pretty boxy. Whereas the siege one here, Looks much better just standing straight up and down. To me. To me. Probably to Anna. To you. That's true. But. Like that looks like. Yeah, that doesn't look quite as good to me. Maybe it does to you. The, the, so that's the siege one, right? This is the yeah, siege one. Yeah, this is the siege one. Yeah, this that one looks a lot better. I don't look sick. Sick, apparently. So, I mean, the I, I think the uh, the Earthrise one cleans up quite a bit more. I mean, the Siege one, you've got this, like, huge backpack on the back. You've got, like, this kibble on the arms. Um, so, I think that... And, then, of course, I mean, it has the space mud all over them as well. Um, so, I mean, I think aesthetically, for the most part, I think the Earthrise one you know, just cleans up, like, I mean, that's where I think it's kind of interesting about this figure is, is it's a mainline figure, and it has very little kibble, just like the way that the transformation goes, you know, I mean, the it has the wheels on the back, which you can take off if you, for some reason, wanted to, um, they are removable, um, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that there are some things compared to the Siege one that annoy me. Like, I think that the um, the eyes are kind of recessed a little bit more. So, like, I know a lot of people complained about the dead eyes on the new one, um, you know, compared to the Siege one. Um, if we get them together like, like we've been for the past minute or so, it kind of looks to me like the Earthrise one is a more grown up or older version of the siege one mm-hmm. a little bit less streamlined a little bit bigger more grizzled or wizened or something i don't know yeah well like I i'd be cool if this was jin rai this was optimus oh, okay that, that might be how that works for me that'd be fine so you guys own both right like and i know that you guys are the type of people who um who don't mind owning more than one of the same character and all that good stuff. Like, does it bother you at all how similar they are? Because they are very similar. I'm I mean, I don't siege. really think that these feel that similar to me. Like, I think that, um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like there's enough differences that it's a, it's just different. Like, I mean, the chest, like, just the, like we said before, the way the chest is, the space mud, all that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, Optimus is a truck is a truck. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's... So, I mean, I guess that it's kind of like saying, does it bother me to have Classics Optimus in this as well? Um, oh, Classics Optimus is better than this. Ooh, look at that. Wait, wait, better than which one? The Siege or the... Oh, um, both of them. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that shade. I'm liking After it. After all this time, Classics Optimus is still my favorite, so whatever. I don't know. You. Classics Optimus. What is this? I feel, like, I feel like that, Christian, the fact that you love Classics Optimus so much that it kind of, like, just... 
Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like you're biased towards classics. Isn't classics oh, awesome older than you are, Christian? It's <laughs> oh. a bad joke. Uh, 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 uh. Um, yeah, if, if it's a G1 Optimus, it's classic Optimus all the way for me. But if it's any Optimus, it's uh, Prime First Edition. But we already know that. Yes, yes, those are those are your favorites. So, this but that's first interesting one's though. Probably the best one since then. Because Lucas Maybe. has been saying in our private channels that this is his favorite Optimus ever, and is the best Optimus ever. No, created I didn't ever. say that. I said the the best non MP10 Optimus. <laughs> Yes, you did say besides MP10. Besides MP10. I, I still think that overall, and, and the reason that I'll, I'll get to that or whatever is not necessarily, like, like if we're just talking only aesthetics, um, you know, the, um, like, the Cross Dimensions one might be my favorite, uh, the Striker Manus, just because huh. it's, it's a, you know, really neat figure. But, like, it's a pain to transform, and so, and that's the thing is, is like where I like this is a total package because this thing is fun to flip back and forth and I like it. I like flipping it back and forth more than like the magic square, um, whatever light of justice, like that one isn't bad to, uh, to transform, but like this one, one is just like has a really fun transformation and the transformation is pretty unique. And I just love, again, like the fact that they were able to reduce the kibble and a lot of yes. the things like, I mean, again, you know, and I know that you've mentioned before about you, it annoys the crap out of you that a lot of these siege figures, you know, that they just, it's just open and there's no wrist articulation and all that, right? Well, this has wrist articulation. It, you know, it closes up so that it's clean. It looks... You know, it looks clean and all that. Um, it also so, has finger articulation. I was really surprised by that. Not individually, but you know, usually yeah. retail figures you get you get the closed whole fist or the open mm. hand fist, but it, it has finger movement. Huh. That is surprising because I, I I thought I it did in the really photos surprised. of it that it had it, yeah. but then I thought that people were saying it didn't. But look at that! Yeah, yeah. yeah. look at that. I That's had no nice. idea. I mean, I was really surprised by it. <laughs> See, I mean, that's what they like after 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 Lucas got it and liked it so much. I was like, you know, do I really want to consider having this be my one optimist? You know, I could sell my magic square for a decent price and blah blah blah. But then once I started seeing it in pictures and seeing the proportions, it just bothers me so much that I definitely don't want it as my one optimist. But that being said, it is really strikes an impressive look. Like, when I see it in your hands, my brain has to take a second to realize it's not MP10. Like, I have to think about it to realize that's not a, like, MP figure. Right. And I think you know, anytime you pose it at all, it takes away from, you know, this area that I know bothers you. Because it bothers me, too, now that I'm looking at it. But any anytime you pose it at all, it kind of breaks up the line. And yeah. I think that helps it a lot. No, it looks better the way you have a pose right now. Some of the poses make it look worse, though, it's like this, honestly. This is like, okay, I get it. I see what your issue is. Right. But, you know, move it just a little bit. Make him be alive. <laughs> you know, even just, you know, that is, is better. So, so Carrie in the chat is asking if we feel that Earthrise toy line is coming out too soon after similar t toy lines. And, you know, Carrie, I actually had the exact same thought. And that's why the TFYLP last night that I did with uh, Rick and Don, uh, we, we actually uh, talked about that. So if you want to, go ahead and check that, that show out. So I, you know, we've done like a zillion shows in the last few days. So, um, but yeah, like I actually, um, I don't know. They're always going to do another Optimus, right? So it doesn't bother me as much for Optimus that he got done again, but it does bother me a little bit. The fact that we are going to get like six Megatrons and a zillion seekers and you know, all that kind of thing. I think it's only just because I didn't get to say my piece yesterday. I'm going to say it real fast. 
The only reason I think it's too soon is because of how soon it is, they look a lot more similar than they would if there were a few years in between. So it's like, I will agree with Christian 100% that Classics Optimus is a fantastic figure. It gets really good. And it's a really, like, it's a version of Optimus Prime. It's an updated, different version of Optimus Prime. But it is a very good figure, and I really like it. I really regret selling my Ultra Magnus of that type, because now I'll have to, like, sell an arm or a leg to get it back. Um, Wait, which Ultra Magnus did you sell? The one in the Classics mold. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I really like that mold, but... I also think that the Siege one is really good because I've owned that and I do think it's really good. And they are just completely different figures. Like, they are so different. They transform differently. They look different. They have articulation in different places. The heads are entirely different. And that, you know, what would it have been, like, 12 years between those two figures? That 12 years made what the best Optimus they can make at the time look different. Like, not saying that it's specifically better, but just that it changed the aesthetics. Like, everything shifted. And therefore, yeah. So, the one I thing... I agree with that as well. The one thing I'll say with this is, is that I do enjoy, like, because this is a completely different transformation than... Or, a lot of it is. I mean, the legs are... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a completely different uh, transformation than Siege. And so that's where I kind of, like, even though they look somewhat similar, they're, like, they're very different. Whereas, like, I'm somewhat yeah. concerned that, that Megatron looks like it's, like, almost the exact same figure. Right. They both look like they're remolded from each other. I I don't think Optimus is. Megatron yeah. might be, but, you know, we'll find out. Watching but, you transform it just yes. now, it doesn't look like it's remolded at all. There's a there's a couple parts I think like the front of the legs I think are the same, um, yeah. But like I mean it's there's not a whole like a whole lot that's the same. But it's the aesthetics, yeah, it's the aesthetics that are really just like making me think it's the same thing again because it's like it's basically like the same. I know it it may or may not be this simple, but it's like the same artist drew the concepts for it. Well, that's probably true. And, well, I mean, the one well, thing if there though, had been twelve years in between, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Turn over. The the one thing I'll say though is, I mean, just look how G one this truck looks. I mean, oh, that is my goodness. And so that's the thing is, is that like the you know a lot of people complained about the Siege Optimus just because they're like, why did you you know got this extra stupid smokestack on top and you know whatever. And I mean, this just looks. Just, I mean, for for the fact that this is a mainline toy uh, that, you know, you can go pick up at Walmart or whatever, like, it's, it reminds you a lot of MP10, I feel like, and that's kind of where I, I like it. But it has, I mean, as many Optimuses as, as that we've had over the years, like, they still manage to do a new transformation on it, which I think is really neat, too. Don't forget to pull out your gas cans. Oh, yes, thank you. I keep forgetting that. I'll definitely agree with what Anna said, though. It, because they look so similar and they're coming out so close, it does feel rather fast and rather redundant. That said, you know, if they shuffle the, the, the releases around and we got Optimus and Megatron towards the end of the line and the Datsuns towards the end of the line, I think we would be happier, less confused. I think so. I think if this was in if this was in part three, yeah, I think it would be more like it would be more like ooh another good Optimus, great ooh and this one has the right truck mode, neat, and like it almost at that point it might almost be like ooh it's cool that they're similar. Like I remember when that came out, you know, three years ago, that was pretty, and now it's a similar guy. It's like a sequel, but I think like one after the other really messed it up. And the fact that I think um, in the chat just now, Ron mentioned that the Siege Optimus Prime mold is getting three uses. And that means that, you know, that Optimus, um, yeah, it's getting a third use. It's getting the Netflix use. No, no. Optimus is, is it not? not? No. Oh. They're not doing not Optimus mean. in that. Oh, it's Nemesis. It's it's the, the original, the cell shaded, and then the Nemesis. 
Right. When is the Nemesis? The soon. Okay. That's going to be a Prime Day exclusive. But like, do we know that is that a Siege mold or is that going to be this one? Oh, we're talking about different things. Wait, which thing are you the, talking uh, about? Takara Tomi Mall Siege Nemesis Prime. Oh, yeah, I totally yeah, forgot right. about that figure. I forgot that one existed too because yeah. I did wrote they, it off. Did they put that up like, on oh, Pulse? No, they did not put that one up on Pulse. I don't think so. Oh, uh, okay. Was is that like was that like a show exclusive? I can't remember what, or is that just not went up for order yet? Uh, it went up for order several months ago, but it never came to Pulse. Oh, uh, okay. I like. I totally forgot about that. Because isn't it isn't that one pretty expensive? Yeah, it was. Uh, yes, I don't remember how much it was, but it was like way more expensive. It was really expensive. I remember. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those things where it's like even I have limits, and I'm like, ah, I can't. It was probably one of those limited fancy fancy ones. Yeah. Yep. But uh, uh, but I was going to say though, in a like, like there's going to be another Optimus like. You know, if you're like, oh, hey, like, wait until the the last stage of it or whatever, right? Like, don't worry. There's going to be, be one. There'll be one, like, coming sure up there again. Will. And there's also going to be one in the third wave. Like, I guarantee well, like, you. Like, just you for my sanity never, real fast. You will never have to guess, worry about not having an Optimus on the shelf. I guess all three Prime Wars had Optimi. Now that I think about it, I think but, didn't, uh, same, didn't we count up like, that like Titans Return had like three just in itself? Christian, I can't yeah, remember five. If you okay, want to count Magnus problem. Prime as Optimus Prime, it had five. Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, uh, Optimus I don't think is getting repainted as much as Megatron. Megatron, that Siege Megatron is going to have four of them. And then there's yeah. gonna be two, there's gonna be two of the new ones, and it's almost the same mold too. So, so about this figure, just to, just to get through it real fast. So the color's good, the paint's good. Um, oh, there's a trailer. That's true. It comes with the trailer, yeah, which is really cool. It is smaller than I expected, but I think it's because I was young when I first had G1 Optimus with this trailer. And I've had MP10 since, so like it made sense to be big in my. That looks like the right size to my trailer. eyes. Yeah, it's I'm the not right at home, just... so I can't I... pull out my half broken one. Cool I was color. gonna say I don't have. I have a trailer somewhere, but I don't have it here. But it, it has these cool, mission. cool uh, stand, so it can you know, stand on its own when you transform it into the combat deck mode. The ramp. Here is the repair bot. There he is. No paint, no details, but it it, it has the sculpted in detail that if uh, you know you wanted to paint it up, it would look very good. And it has one play feature with the uh, ramp system here. You pull the ramp out. And you can go on a ramp master. A, it is a shield, apparently. Ah. It's like a buckler for Optimus. And the, the little robot guy pulls off too, and he can uh, attach to the Optimus as well. Does he? Uh huh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he attaches uh -huh. he, he attaches to the back of him. You have a, a drone friendy. Yep. How nice. Oh, now he's got a shoulder buddy. Everybody needs a shoulder buddy. And, and you know, it's funny, the little robot, like, like the way they did the little 5mm ports, can like, it kind of looks like it has little eyes and whatnot, um, which is kind of cool. scratching behind the ear. <laughs> That's right. Oh, they got a cute relationship. It is Mac and me. He does need a roller, and he needs an axe. It just, yeah, this doesn't feel quite like 50 bucks. It feels closer to 50 bucks than we've seen so far, I think. But yeah, he could benefit from uh, some more accessories. So here's my question about the trailer, Christian, because you seem to be praising the trailer. Like, Everybody do you, do you like the trailer? the trailer? It's a nice trailer. Because 
<clears throat> so for me, I think that the trailer has way too much gray on it. Like I don't like these, the wheels and whatnot, like the little underneath part seems like it goes down too far. Like the wheels are too yeah. small and, and whatever. And so I don't really like that. I feel like it's a huge hunk of gray plastic. I do like the inside. Like I think that it's nice. They did that in a different color, but I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like for whatever reason, the trailer feels a little bit cheap um, to me. It looks like the trailer to me. So, and so, and I know that's what like a lot of other people are saying too. Now I feel like that once um, toy hacks puts out their set, I'll probably be happier with that. Um, But probably. So here's the thing, like that thing that you're holding like, literally it looks like a decent but not perfect replication of the G1 trailer. Like, it looks like someone, mm-hmm. it looks like, again, someone handed someone a G1 trailer and said, hey, we don't have quite enough budget to make that, but make it as close as you can with this, like, 75% of that budget. And they did it. Like, I'm pretty sure that if I got out the... Like, and this isn't, like, nostalgia goggles or anything. I think if I got out a G1 trailer and put it side by side, the G1 trailer would just look a little bit better. Right. It would just look a little nicer. I think it would. I mean, just because, again, like, I think that they did a decent job on this. (laughs) I don't think it's bad. I like this better than the crappy stickers that they put on um, the the last trailer, uh, the Power of the Primes one. Like, I like this better than that trailer. Um, so if you were, if you're like, oh, Hey, I want, you know, like, I, I don't think that that, that power of the primes figure is, is cool and, and fun. Like I like the, the powered up, like the, the gimmick of it. And I, and I like the way the proportions look and all that, but like the alt mode doesn't look that great. And the little, right. it doesn't. I, I don't know. I mean, this is, this is a star convoy one, but like, I mean, there's like hands in the back. I mean, that looks like crap. So. Um, I think that should be what I just said about it looking like a slightly like worse version of the G1 trailer. I think that should be nothing but a credit to the G1 playset. Like that was a that was a neat product. Like that was actually like a lot of G1 transformers. When I look back at them, I'm like, how did child me think this was any good? This is a brick. I should use it to bludgeon someone. But the Optimus playset is just cool. Like it's got. It's- it's got playability, it's got a little robot drone thingy inside, it's got roller inside. It's just a neat thing to have and I think stuff the, to do. Yeah. Right. The fact that this is it just is a replication a, it's fully of that. A play set. <clears throat> I think it's it's fine because um, for us it works. And if a kid did happen to get this, because I I mentioned before, I think of leader as the birthday present class. Like, that right. is the thing that the kid asked for for their birthday. So I think that, you know, if a kid got this and got to play with that as the playset, like, they're at least getting almost as good of an experience as I did. Probably better, because mine definitely came from a yard cell. It definitely didn't have this. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, that's you were the a thing. Parent who had who had G1 Optimus as a kid, and you saw this on the shelf, was like, oh, man, that looks like the one I had, and you gave it to your own kid? I think you would enjoy that almost as much as the kid was enjoying this toy. Yeah, yeah. Lucas, you could give it to your kid. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that's part of the reason I like to collect this stuff is is that I, I have no issues with giving this stuff to my kids and letting them play with the figures. You know, that's a that's the thing about these figures compared to the Masterpiece. You know, you don't have to be as worried about breaking them. Um, that is true. I don't, Ron in the chat mentioned about he wishes the trailer is bigger to fit more cars in it. And I, I do agree with you on that. That would be nice. I guess you could put the MicroMasters in there. Yeah. You could definitely put a ton of MicroMasters in here. But yeah, if Optimus was bigger, then the trailer could be bigger. But uh, as it is, I mean, they're perfectly sized together. Um, let me open this back up again. I, was so say, I, I guess I can, on the other, uh, the other camera here, I can combine the trailer together. Like, this is, as far as I know, this is, like, what Masterpiece looks like. Almost. almost. Right. Almost. You know, pretty pretty close. This scales pretty well for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine. 
It looks fine. It looks good together. Like, that alt mode is really good. And that's the one thing that, like, you know, playing with the Siege figure, it was, like, putting it into its alt mode. It's like, this is a Cybertronian truck. I have to really squint to think this is a truck. But that's a truck. That's a that's an Optimus truck. And I think, like, in this day and age, right, like, okay, the... <clears throat> the MP10 that we could have for 150 bucks. I mean, I guess technically, if you wanted the, um, um, what one is on clearance? A big bad. Um, glass. Shattered glass. Yeah, if you want the shattered glass one, I guess you could have a version of of MP10 for cheap. But you know, it's like if you want the new masterpiece Optimus, it's going to be 400 dollars or 350, whatever, right? Whereas this is 50 bucks. And um, at at Target, so I mean, I think that like what you get for the money is not bad. I I think that I don't know the amount of the amount of stuff that I'm getting for fifty dollars comparatively to the other leaders that have come out. Like I don't feel like I'm like ripped off with with this figure. Like, would you rather have this for fifty dollars, Christian, or the Astro Train? This. I, I played so with too, that right? Astro Train. The Astro Train had no satisfaction to it. Oh no, I, I enjoyed the Astro Train, but I know you like it. But that thing, like the thing you're holding right now, looks way better than that Astro Train. I do not like that Astro Train at all. Just yeah. wait, just wait for like what's it going to be like six months, seven months before I have the same reaction to Double Dealer when you guys are both like, <laughs> "Ooh, this is exciting!" I'm going to be like, "This is a garbage. I don't even have yeah. it." <laughs> But, I mean, I think the thing is, is, like, I felt like with Siege, where they, like, went half G1, half Cybertronian, and tried to split the difference, right? And, like, I wish they would have, like, went one way or the other. Now, it's like, they just are like, hey, this is, here. here's G1, here's your G1 Optimus you always wanted. Um, and so, and I think that they, for the most part, delivered on it. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, this is, like... Because a lot of us on this on this show, on not just the microcasters, but on the show in general, are more the type to actually like mess with our figures. I- I'm just gonna say play with our toys. Um, we are a lot of us are the type who actually do play with our toys at least a little bit. I really do, and I know like Rob's gonna go back and watch this later and be like, "Yeah, Rob, Anna," but I really do think that this is for people like us who play with our toys and actually like repose them and whatnot. It's probably a better purchase than buying MP44 and spending all that money on something that's gonna be, you know, a commitment to transform and you're gonna worry about breaking it all the time. Like it's probably just wiser. To invest in things like this. They still look good. They don't look as good. But they definitely play better. What you're touching on is <laughs> what I had to decide, of course, multiple times over the last several years, in that I collect toys. And this is a toy. Whereas I think, you know, MP44 or even MP10 to a certain extent is, you know, like a high end adult collectible. And I had to realize it's not what I was after. Yeah. Yeah, an MP44 is definitely a high-end collectible. It is not a... I mean, I think you could say MP10 is, is you know, kind of a toy a little bit. Yeah. Like, I could go that way, but, man, like, yeah, the MP44 is just not at all. Like, it is, it is an incredible thing, but, yeah, it is, it is not a toy. But, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, like, I just love that I can, like, transform this pretty easily. I mean, I've transformed it back and forth on camera, you know. And, you know, it's not, there's not a lot of figures that you want to necessarily do that with. And, I mean, it has a ton of articulation. I think, for me, like, you know, I kind of want this to be my ultimate Optimus. And it's not quite just because, like, I wish... You know, there was a world where this wasn't molded in gray plastic on the sides that, you know, because of cost cutting that they had to, you know, with the molds and whatever, that they had to, you know, do this in gray instead of blue. Um, But, I mean, for the most part, you know, it's it's a very solid figure. Yeah. 
I'm impressed with it from like, like if it just, if it didn't have that aesthetic that I don't like, like I would really consider getting it, even though I have a one for character role. You know, we, we talk, I think our audience is primarily veteran collectors. I don't think we get a lot of newbies. So a lot of us will have, you know, multiple optimists at, at this point or have had multiple optimists at, at this point. I don't think this one is so much better than any of them where you have to immediately go out and be like, yes, this is the Omega. I have to get this one now. It's so much better. But it is very good. And it, you know, if you wanted it to be, it's an aesthetic. It's a, it's a nice transformation where it could be the last Optimus that you get. I think it could be. It won't be. I, you know, I think the, the thing that um, that I really enjoy about all these figures, and especially a lot of this first wave of Earthrise, is that, like, you know, Christian, you and I have both pretty much gotten out of Masterpiece, right? Mm-hmm. And, but I feel like that a lot of these figures have hit the, like, there's some cues from the Masterpiece figures in them. Like, they're definitely not <clears throat> at the same level at all, right? But, like, you can tell that they took some of those transformation cues. Like, Wheeljack is like that, and Grapple is mm-hmm. a little bit like that. And Starscream reminds you of, of the MP11 mold. Um, Even Cliff Jumper, I think, reminds me of the, the Tiny Bee mold, the first one. Yep. 18. Yeah. 18, whatever that was. And so that's Especially the thing. The, the arm door things. I mean, it reminds me of that, too. And that's the thing for yeah, me is, me is it that too. it's very satisfying that I get some cues from Masterpiece. I get the G1 that I'm looking for for nostalgia. <clears throat> I get the articulation that I want for the most part, you know. And in something that is, you know, that I can go pick up a Target while I'm getting my milk. And it's, you know, this is 50 bucks, which is a little bit on the high end. Uh, but then, you know, all the other figures are like 20 bucks or whatever it is. So, Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but I, I know like for me and I know, uh, I think Frank had kind of mentioned that too, whereas a lot of these figures are kind of making you want masterpiece less and less just because you're like, Oh, well, most of what I wanted masterpiece for, like these are doing it for me and I don't have to spend over a hundred dollars on each figure. Right. It's like Earthrise is not a line that's taking a lot of risks. Nope. It's not trying new things. It's not innovating like we've seen before, but it's taking the best pieces of what we've had so far and putting them into new forms that are accessible to everyone. And yes. I think that's definitely a, a worthy goal. But, I mean, they've been doing this for a while where I feel like they're kind of like splitting the line up between, you know, the greatest hits and the deep cuts. Where, you know, it's like they throw all these MicroMasters at you and give you updated versions of those and the MicroMaster bases. And then at the same time, then they, they give you the great Ironworks Ironworks is very innovative. I'll, I will take my, my comment back a certain amount. True. Right. It's I just can't you got wait one for the Runa guys. Those are some deep cuts I'm excited for. The Runa guys. Battle Chargers. Runa guys. <laughs> Who? Which? What? Maybe Runa Bros. Runa Bros. Ooh, that's good. I think they're brothers. If not, they're just really close friends that look alike. Yeah, yeah. That's that's probably totally their background story. <laughs> I have no idea what their background story is. I I owned one of them as a kid, and they spray painted the Statue of Liberty. It wasn't cool. Fantastic! What jerks. I'm very excited for those, though. Get Optimus. He's good. If you need an Optimus, he will get you there. If you've got an Optimus that you like, you know, stick with that one. But this one won't do you any wrong at all. Yep. Not for me, but it looks cool. Like, they have they have done a good job of showing why that is a good figure and why, aesthetically, it doesn't quite work for me. But the rest of it, like, is totally good. And I am a bad judge for a lot of people because I have, like, very strong emotional reactions to aesthetics that, like, I just can't get past. 
And this guy has one of those, but otherwise I think it's a great figure. <laughs> what I've seen. <laughs> Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, more runabouts co- come in, uh, come in stock at either Target or Pulse or whatever, right? How many Alicons did you get? Did you just get one, Christian, or three? Yeah, same here. Well, you can check ours out. So I will because I didn't want it. You know, it's funny is I ordered one, right? And then Sean was talking about how he got four. And so then I was like, oh, well, you know what? Three would actually, since they're doing the buy one, get one half off at Target. I was like, oh, well, this, I can justify that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to get one from the Target thing because that's how it worked out. And they only let you buy two in the first place. So I got two from Pulse and one from Target. So they let me do the three over two different orders. Uh, so, because I did, I did one, and then I went back and and did two more. So I don't know unless they canceled my. I'm gonna go see if they're still in stock. They probably aren't. We'll never find. know. The Olicons are not very; they're not as good as other things. So maybe they are still. So. Um, the question is, okay, so Ron in the chat asked a good, uh, question. What do you think that they could repaint this or retool this into? Cell shaded Optimus. <laughs> um. Thunder Clash. Yeah, I think, I think a Thunder Clash. I think realistically what they're going to do is there was a rumored, uh, Amazon Prime Day release or something like that of, like, Optimus from the dead universe or something like that right it's, a, Wasn't it's an there? alternate universe alternate universe optimus that's probably going to be this i'm i'm betting maybe not it i don't mean know just about but, anything but yeah it probably means shattered glass it probably so, means shattered glass yeah what could be machine wars they could do that that'd be neat That'd be a very different deco. I like that. I don't own a Shattered Glass Optimus, so it could be a chance to get one. Honestly, if I were you, I would just go buy the one on clearance of Big 10. Bad. It's like, isn't I it like know. 80 bucks or 100 or something like that? It's so much a better figure. It's something like that. It's cheap. I've almost bought it a thousand and a half times. I bought it and sold it, but um, it's still a really good figure. I bought it at almost full price and kept it because I liked it. Yeah. I mean, MP10 is just a good toy. Mm-hmm. So, well, two of them right now. There you go. So, but yeah, no, I, I would recommend this too. I think it's the same thing as you, Christian, that if you want a new Optimus, it's a new Optimus. It's a good figure. Um, you know, it's uh, the, the Siege one, if you like that. I don't think that this one is going to be like so much more amazing that you have to run out and get it, but it's still good. And if you don't want a new Optimus, you can do it like me and not buy it. How, it works. How is that even an option? I don't understand. It's definitely an option. Wait, you can just not buy things? Oh. I can. It's amazing. Wild. Crazy. All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, there will not be an Ash My Wallet this week, I don't believe, because I think even though all of us like pre ordered a zillion things, or not all of us, but a lot of us uh, pre ordered a zillion things, I don't think that we've gotten anything new in other than, you know, um, this guy just talked about. Authorize. Yep. So I bought something I could show off. I bought something today, but I showed it off. Oh, there you go. Right, I so, can just I can be ouch ouch my wallet. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think they're gonna do ouch tomorrow. So, uh, but Friday uh, there will be another um, uh, cut the tape, and then uh, and then again on Monday. So for the regular TFLP. So well, thank you guys for joining in. Uh, thanks, uh, Carrie and Randall and Ron for participating in the chat. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Have a good week.